Hello everyone and welcome to TFYLP episode number 304 recorded October 13th 2018. I'm your host Ron Land aka Weird Wolf. Along with me this evening is Peter Chavez. For Everdestron. And Christian Russell. Hello. Wake up. I'm awake. <laughs> you, you look like you just got out of bed. Oh it's because the light is shining right in my face. Ah. Give me your face it's saying. Well, maybe. Very bright. <laughs> um, we're doing this recording, even though it is uh, being broadcast today on uh, on time. Um, we're actually recording it a few hours early. Uh, I've got some things and places to go this evening, so uh, we couldn't go live uh, this afternoon. So apologize for the live viewers. Um, but still having a good show uh, nonetheless, I hope. Uh, going to talk about uh, a small thing, but um, maybe we can uh, stretch it out into something bigger and come up with some other things off the top of our head to to talk about uh, today. Uh, though it may be a short episode, I apologize for that ahead of time if it is. Uh, but one of the things that is really being talked about uh, with the Siege War for Cybertron line coming up is the weathering effect that is done on the toys a lot of people a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it uh we're going to talk a little bit about that kind of some uh some insight um into that here momentarily uh but before we do that um want to mention our sponsor capturepray.com great toys great prices great service capturepray.com where you can save even more with free domestic shipping on orders of $150 or more, and you also have the Stasis Pod uh, option available. So you can buy now and ship later and save. Um, I always tongue, tongue twist that. Yeah. Uh, also, if you love what we do here on TFYLP, uh, check out the link up there at the top of the screen. It says uh, patreon.com slash TFYLP. If you love what we do, help us continue uh, going each and every week. Uh, and each and every month help pay the server bills and everything like that because this uh, this thing isn't uh, cheap. <laughs> Podcasting is not cheap. Used to be whenever Google Plus was around, it was rather easy, but things are becoming more difficult. And as high definition high definition devices come out there, we got to keep upgrading our equipment and <sighs> stay up with the times here, people. Stay up with the times, but. Uh, also, uh, check us out on Twitter, at TFYLP. That's where you can find the latest news and uh, updates about the podcast, particularly. Um, also, you can check out our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash TFYLP, uh, as well as the TFTalk.net Facebook page. Uh, Going to be trying to share more news and uh, rumors and cool pictures on there. So if you want to check out that and like that page, We've got over a thousand likes on the tftalk.net Facebook page, and uh, can't thank everybody enough. Uh, that's uh, that's outstanding. Let's help keep it growing and help keep TFYLP uh, growing as well. Um, you guys have any uh, ouch my wallet this week? I th I think Peter might. Maybe. Maybe. I have a huge one, but we'll, we'll you do. Get mine to that. isn't quite as big as yours, so let me. <laughs> I'll, I'll do mine, my little guy here, and then you can do your big guy. All right. So, I've been waiting on this one for a while, uh, and it, it was a just a little ding in my wallet, and it's, ooh, uh, ooh, yeah. Fans project uh, Bestructor or Monstructor uh, comes in a gift set. Uh, Did they fix the leg issue? What leg issue? There's no leg issue. <laughs> totally no leg issue. I haven't had any issues with mine. I didn't have any issues with the uh, with the Dino Force guys over here either. Oh, gosh. Um, I, every time I pick mine up, they would never lock in, and every okay. time I pick it up, both legs would just fall out right off. Yeah, oh, all no, that drove me one's, crazy. He's pretty solid. I wish I could have yeah. did that with mine. <laughs> I was, uh, I mean, it's like I would pick one up, pick it up, and there was a couple times I literally picked him up, and like from like the the knee connectors up he picked up and the the legs just stayed laying on the detolf you know mm. yeah and then he's a bit bulky i mean for for some good poses i mean he, he 
his you can't really get crazy and like you know dynamic poses you no. can't have him do that that thing that the kids do i don't know what it's called dab, the kids do it. yeah dab yeah uh, you can't have him doing that uh but he can you know he can spread his arms out and look menacing and and kind of you can't do the Iron Man pose, but other than that, I think he looks great. I mean, he does. I mean, individually, I thought the, those bots were real winners. I, I love them mm -hmm. individually. Um, but you know, if you're going to have a combiner, you know, you you kind of want to combine them and display them combined sometimes. So, well, like for me, the the Dino Force, I have individuals as in in, in their individual modes because I just love them as a as a team from the Victory line, mm -hmm. uh, from the Victory cartoon, uh, and for Monstructor, they didn't really have much individual personality whether in like the one issue they were in in the original marvel g1 comic or in the idw stuff so they just run around in monstructor mode so I, they're going to stay combined uh and they hold up combined over there and these guys stand well individually over here so did know. you uh ever track down the uh, shells for the dino force guys oh uh, yes i believe you did yes i did <laughs> so. i i got the 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 triceratops one and I was full on board with that. And whenever I got him in, I put him in my detolf and I'm like, Oh my gosh, just to display, just to display the shells and the bots would mm -hmm. take up an entire detolf. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's you can why, only fit about, yeah, you can only fit about two of them per shelf. Yep. And it, I'm like, this is no, I can't do this. I don't have this kind of room. <laughs> So yeah, I, the, the Triceratops, that was a, a Shardicon exclusive, wasn't it? Yeah. That's when it premiered or debuted? I believe so. And then that's... No, couldn't have been. It's too long ago. Uh, was it? Yeah. It's 2013, guys. No, the TFCon and Shardicon. Oh, TFCon Shardicon. That's totally different. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shardicon 2. <laughs> the, the one that was in 2015, late 2015, early... Yeah, late 2015. Yeah. And that's another thing, too, with those shells. I think they came out a little bit too fast for my liking because it's like they came out with the first one, and then the second one was like a couple months later, I, I want to say, and then, then it's like, bam, 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 bam. All the rest of them came out. The the last one, the Goryu shell, the Tyrannosaurus shell, there was a, all of them came out real quick, doo -doo 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 -doo, except for that last one. There, were, there was a several-month gap on the end there. Yeah. And my girlfriend, she had wanted to give me that for Christmas, whatever year it was, 2016, um, but it hadn't been released yet. She pre-ordered it and hadn't mm -hmm. come in. So she bought me a little rubber T-Rex dinosaur with a note. That's, well, it's said, you know, I, it's I like O U. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then it came in, I think it showed up in March is when it finally popped. Oh, wow. and it was, it was, it was like a nail biter. And did fans project go under, or is this actually happening? Is when structure going to happen down the road? I don't know. And yeah, yeah. that fans project, they, they'll, they'll have periods of, total silence and you're like what yeah. what's going on here and then and they don't respond to emails their facebook it's just like mm, okay yeah uh, somebody said that they were restructuring or something i guess i don't know i finding a new factory i don't i don't know all the details about it but i i those are some of the things that i heard but i don't know if that's accurate or not yeah i've, I've heard a couple of things from the rumor mill on that and I don't know. Christian, what do you have? They offloaded their most recent line that they had showed to Moss Toys. That's true. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so kind of maybe redirect the, the Gen Rapido 2 accelerators. Trends. Accelerators. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Rapido and Scram and yeah. Windbreaker. I, Windbreaker I, I, and... I've got to get those guys. I'm I'm a big fan, fan of those guys. Rapido, oh, Windbreaker, more. and Turbo Fire. Turbo Fire, yeah. And Scram. Yep. Yep. Scram, Scram. crack patrol. Can't <laughs> let crack be out. Uh, so, uh, uh, how are the colors on on the Monstructor? Uh, really vibrant. I mean, they they line up really nicely with the Gen. I don't have the Gen One sitting in here. All my Gen One stuff's kind of packed away right now. Uh, but they line up really nicely with with his Gen One appearance, and uh, it, it all so works good. It, it's great. I love it. Them. Uh, the only the only complaint I have is, and it's not much of a like a complaint so much as just a minor critique uh for the slog character uh since the head the combiner mode head is integrated into the the you know the robot mode yeah when he's in robot mode you can see the back of the head so he's got this big yellow belly that the original figure didn't have yeah and it's minor and he's since he's staying in combined mode it doesn't matter to well, me they could have fixed but, that by making like maybe painting the back of the head black or something maybe. exactly yeah that would have that would have done it and i i, I thought about actually doing that but since he's going to stay combined it's not worth it um, but yeah, no complaints. They, they look great. Um, 
Well, I, that's I really the, it's a pleasant it. surprise, or, or not pleasant surprise, but pleasant to hear that uh, they actually seem to have fixed the the connection issues and everything. I I got mine as they were coming out, and it might have been like one of the first run ones that I got, and I just lucked uh, or lucked out or didn't luck out as it were, and yeah. got some of the ones that were rather rather loosey goosey. Yeah, funky tolerances. But I was on board with the the set, um, as uh, even before they came out, because Orson, uh, he actually got, I want to say the the bristleback, which I think it's the bristleback, um, as a uh, prototype. He got the prototype one, and I was able to photograph that, like months before they even started to hit, and okay. that, that was that was really cool, uh, and I fell in love with them then, and I was totally in love with them until I got them all and combine them and i'm like you know it, it and it, <laughs> it seems to be a running thing with uh with fans project for me because it's like i was totally on board with m3 their 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 minasaur until i got diesel and it just the cohesion yeah. the cohesion of the set totally fell apart for me and he- i hated that combiner yeah, I, I really enjoyed the individual limbs, and then I, I got diesel, and it took, I don't know, an hour and a half to just fiddle, because I don't use instructions, Yeah, and I'm really like careful and stuff, I'm just like, uh, twist, turn, flip, flop, twist, this is getting frustrating. Yeah, and and then whenever I yes. finally got them together, I wasn't really keen on how how he connected either, Yeah. so, um, you know, it's like, it's like their, their ambition is there, their, their detail is there. But I, I have some some qualms with some of their uh, their end result. It's like they don't finish right. That's not to say that they don't have some great figures. I mean, I love individually the bots. Like I said, I love the uh, Fans Project Code. That little that little slide thing it does with the, with hood, the hood. Oh, oh uh, that brilliant. blew my blew my mind the first time I did that. I love it. Yeah. Um, and I, I I dig their Weird Wolf. I mean, it's an it's a unique look on his uh yeah uh, it's a ne- uh, it's a unique look on his uh uh or transformation or a unique take on it rather uh so christian uh do you have an ouch my wallet this week no nope, just an ouch my soul ouch your soul yeah my cabinets are still empty there's been some delays in the lighting project oh no so do tell my debt offs are, are sitting here just empty Empty, empty souls. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So, uh, quick question: Is TFCon still on the books for you? Yeah. Sort of. Okay. At last I heard you, uh, you, you think you had, you thought you had something lined up that you could make a day, like a day or two of it, or. Something. Oh, I'm, I'm going to all of it, including the customizing class for Bob. Woo! Yes. That Bob looks great. Bob the Insecticon. Yep. Yes. Yeah, and- I'll be there for the whole thing. It'll it'll be awesome because Peter will get to hear me snore. <laughs> Great. I can sleep through anything. I'm good to go. Yeah. Actually, I, from what I hear, because I have a CPAP now, and and from what I hear, I don't snore with that on. So you'll just hear my my Darth Vader. Oh <laughs> no! Wow. I am your father. I'm so sad that I'm missing that part. Yeah. Either that, or I'll uh, uh, we'll drink some Lumishu and uh, uh, and I'll I'll eat the the plum again and pass out with my ass up in the air again. <laughs> As people come in the room to talk to Orson, lay there and fart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ooh. that was uh, that was wow. TFCon twenty fifteen, the first one, I think. Was it the first one? Yeah, I think it was. Was it twenty fifteen? first tfcon usa 15 was charlotte 16 was uh, uh so it was 2014 it was 2014 yeah uh yeah that was yeah that was my first yeah, experience chicago with Japan. charlotte chicago dc chicago that was yeah. that was my first uh um foray into uh, japanese plum wine and yeah <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm, I, I don't take alcohol, alcohol very well, even though I'm a big guy. Yeah, wow. funny stories. I, I don't intend on doing that this time. 
try not to. <laughs> anyway, uh, my ouch, my wallet. Um, you know, I, I know I'm, I'm trying to save for TFCon, but Orson got them in this past week, and I'm like, uh, there's only a couple things I'm really looking for at TFCon, so I'm I'm like, I'm oh, go ahead. All right, here. Here we go. We, yeah. What have yeah. you done? I, I'm weak. I'm weak. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I'm going to have to scoot back for this one, guys. And you're weak in another way. Yeah. Uh, this big fella. <laughs> the oh. Zeta Toys Bruticus, the the Armageddon. Um, yeah, that I was a little bit late getting the uh, podcast together because I was trying to put this guy together. Love him. He's solid. You know, he dude's goes, huge. He he is flipping huge. If you can't see the screen, uh, yeah. He, let's see here. Uh, well, put him up to the top of his guns are on the top of my, top of my head. Or even with the top the of size my of head. a toddler. Yeah, and then uh, his feet come down almost to my belly button. So yeah, just sit, uh, sitting here in a seated position. But yeah, he's it's a, it's a big fella. He's a big fella. Uh, nice, good, solid Whoa, ratchet. That is a huge ratchet. Yeah, and I just made him come unpegged here. They're they're good and solid. They're not gonna come out any anytime soon here. If I can peg it back in. Shoulder came up peg there. I didn't, I, like I said, I was kind of in a hurry before the podcast here, so I might not have made sure everything tabbed in just quite right. My biggest complaint uh, about him is entirely revolving around one figure in particular in the set. That's the Brawl. And as you can see, I took his tread. Well, his treads are off of him right now because putting them, putting him together, his treads kept falling off. And while the treads are an uh, an awesome, I've said this before on the show, the treads are an awesome uh, feature for the uh, for the uh, figure, uh, especially in tank mode. To have uh, a super clean tank mode where you don't see any bot bits anywhere, even if you turn it upside down, you don't even see. Like, like arm bits or leg bits or a head or anything. It's like smooth underneath. You got your uh, his armor. The tank treads move. It's awesome. But they, unlike the, the Bone Crusher for the, from the Constructor set from uh, Toy World, same designers, um, the treads on that are not problematic, at least not to me. Uh, the treads work in, in bulldozer mode for, uh, for, uh, for a bulldozer. Um, but in leg mode, they're fully functional. It's fully functional as a leg, even though there's treads over the legs. Uh, however, with the Zeta Toys Brawl, the, the treads in, in, in robot mode and combined mode, literally um, the tread assembly folds in half, and then the treads themselves basically just stack inside of like a little, little chute inside the leg. And then there's like these little latches that come down. It's supposed to lock them in. Well, they don't lock in very well, and they don't stay there. So they tend to flop. And whenever they tend to flop, they get hung, hung on stuff. And um, like whenever I was put, just trying to, to attach the leg to uh, to the onslaught, uh, yeah, my, my finger hit one of the treads and just fell off of my lap. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying. I, I'm glad. I'm glad it's a, a feature, um, but at the same time, I wish there was a. It, it had been done better. I'm not. I'm not sad that they did it. I'm just sad how they did it. I guess if that makes any sense. That um, makes sense. Yeah. But he's 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 a really solid figure. I've been looking forward to this guy for a, for a while now, and uh, you know he's slowly been uh, uh, trickling out the uh, the onslaught the what's he called blitzkrieg um the figures have been slowly uh coming out i think bbts got them in first and then some of the smaller retailers orson finally got his in at capture prey uh just yesterday or day before yesterday um but uh, i think a lot of that had to do with uh um, the way they ship at zeta and also there was a chinese holiday that was uh, mixed in there somewhere that kind of broke it up um 
but that being said, it's 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 here. I'm happy. It's it's big. It's gorgeous. Now I've got to find room to put it somewhere. Um, but I did make some uh, some sales over the last day or two, and I still got some more sales to go. Uh, one of the sales that I've got going pretty much has nearly eliminated an entire shelf uh, on my detolf. So, and that's that's a good thing. So I can condense what's left of it down. Um, unfortunately, I was supposed to ship some stuff out today, but uh, you know, as my work schedule goes, I didn't get out of bed till like I said an hour and a half ago. <laughs> so post office closes like 45 minutes i'm like i don't have enough time to pack and ship in that time so they'll mm -hmm. go out monday i'm off monday so it's all good um that'll be it for ouch my wallet um hope everybody enjoyed that segment uh we continue to do it from time to time uh we don't do it every episode but uh once in a while when we got something of note or a few things of note uh we'll bring it up on our ouch my wallet and let people know about it um as we mentioned with uh, TFCon USA here in a couple weeks, um, all three of us will be there. Um, I, I believe a couple other people, I, I believe Rob will be there. And um, yep. I think Anna and Sean are going. Yeah, uh, so that'll be awesome. And it's we're planning, knock on wood, if we can get, um, get a good quiet place to record uh, and a place to set up my laptop and a, uh, uh, a camera and everything, we're going to... Uh, try to record either a live or a uh, pre-recorded uh, podcast with everybody uh, in the room there at TFCon. All of us together. Yes. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, don't know what we'll talk about, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. TFCon. It's TFCon. I bet it's Transformers. I bet we talk about Transformers. There's a good chance. Maybe. We might talk about Portillo's <laughs> or or uh, Pequod's or something. Else. Pequod's. Have <laughs> you been to Pequod's before? I've never been. I've never been. Toronto, you remember? Okay, we're I've going. I mean, it's, it's happening. Well, it's, uh, Sergio has already... Will change, so. Sergio has already told us that we're going to be going, so... Yeah, I've been... He's taken me there twice, and just my life is different now. <laughs> I see things differently than I used to. Hmm. Is it, like, psychedelic? Pizza. Like, it's, like, the best drug ever? Pizza. It'll change your life. It will change my life. Okay. I'm looking for this. And I, I, Everything I, you thought you knew is wrong. No. What have I done with That's my life? That's how good Pequod's is. So, yeah, you've not been going to Pequod's. <laughs> so, uh, subset of Chicago food, Garrett popcorn. I'm very excited. And I'm hoping we can at least take in a Giordano's or something other too. I know, I know, it's like the McDonald's of pizza there, but uh, but I love Giordano's. Uh, Lou, Lou Malnati's is really good. What's that? Lou Malnati's. Okay, it's another Chicago area deep dish joint. Oh, it's really good. Okay. All pizza, now, all the time. See, all see pizza, how time, you, yeah. you can tell we're Transformer nerds because we, 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 we migrate from toys to pizza <laughs> <laughs> just so seamlessly. <laughs> yeah. Seamlessly. Seamlessly. All right. Um, I believe uh, that'll do it for Ouch My Wallet. Let's uh, move on to our main topic of discussion. Like I said at the top of the show, uh, one of the big things that people are talking about with the Siege War for Cybertron figures coming out uh, is the weathering effect that's been done on them. Now, I think it should be noted and and stated right up front that, that we are fully aware that the figures that we've seen on display at the Hasbro reveals at both SDCC and New York Comic Con, they were hand-painted uh, examples. They were not you know, as they would come off the factory uh, assembly line. Um, so I'm taking that, uh, taking what we've seen so far with a grain of salt. Maybe it won't be as bad. Maybe it won't be as much. Uh, me personally, I'm going to state right off the top of the uh, top. I like weathering, but they, I think they did a little bit too much on these figures. Um, and I, I'm not sure I'd like it in, in a mainline line if it's on like a custom figure or uh maybe a one-off i'm cool with it but line white I, i'm not entirely sure i'll dig it um what are you what are your guys thoughts on it you go first i've got to go change my headphones okay okay um I don't know, words, for me I, I dig weathering 
um, as a rule. I, I like the more paint we have, the the better. You know, that's better than those stickers that we had. Um, as and far I, as the, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not opposed to stickers, but the ones but we've the had the last few years have, have been, been re- awful, really low quality. Yeah, they have, yeah, and they're applied crooked in the in the you know from the factory. They fall right off. They're they're just awful. Yeah. Um, that said, uh, I do appreciate some paint when paint is done appropriately third-party companies you know they have smaller runs so they can get more into the studio into the series on. grimlock there's yes. that <laughs> done appropriately yeah <clears throat> yeah it's grimlock yes that thing is That's flipping gorgeous yeah. what were we saying about him i just got back Sorry. uh the paint, the paint, paint. Done right oh yeah definitely done right yeah not a bunch of sloppy stickers the paint's done right it's 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 pretty it's really really pretty yeah um as far as the the hand painting goes, it looks like they they just you know dabbed a big brush in some random silver and went foot 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 in in rando you know places on the figures and said that weathering or damage or whatever you want to call it and uh, it looks sloppy. Yeah, it looks very sloppy. Very very. Uh, what about you, Christian? How, what's your feelings on the weathering that we've seen so far? Well, I had Grimlock out here because I wanted to say that. I hate weathering except for one example, and it's that Grimlock. I, I think it always looks bad. Uh, I, I get it when it's involved in customs, I, like you said, Duran. I, I totally get that. But for this stuff, I don't like it. I think I know why they're doing it. Well, I have a theory about why they're doing it. Oh, dude, tell. I know they've been trying to push the $20 Deluxes so they can get more in line with Star Wars Black Series and Marvel Legends. Because, you know, those are $20 figures. They're from collector figures or collector lines. So they're trying to say that, oh, look how much more paint it has because this is a premium, $20 deluxe. It's a premium collector's line. But they could just make better paint instead of you more know, paint. battle damage paint. Yeah. We, would, we would notice. But maybe this is just the first gambit for Siege, and then once it gets to whatever's after Siege, they'll say, oh, now it's done being battle damage, but look, there's still more paint. I don't know. That's and then the prices just stay... Until the they go up again. Yep. Either that well, or just more same, tampo. Same, paint, same number of paints. Same, or paint operations. Paint operations, yeah. Yeah. So same number of those. They're just not battle damage paints anymore. They're just better hmm. paint. But then that alienates parents and their kids because parents aren't going to buy the $20 figure for their 6 or 7 year old, you know? And the 6 or 7 year old offerings, the Cyberverse stuff, has no paint and looks like garbage. So, I don't know. I mean, what, what are they offering for their other boys lines that's you know less painted what, what, mm. what's on offer right now uh, my big <laughs> my big concern is that uh, and it, and it kind of leads uh, lends to what you were talking about um will parents buying these toys for their kids want to buy a toy that looks dirty in the package i mean I understand that they they probably know that it, that it's just paint, but it looks old and it looks dirty. You know, I I've got no perspective on that. Peter, you have children. Yes, and my boy, he is he is excited about the new figures. What he's seen, um, I we spoil him though. You know, he's been in the generations line and avoiding RID and avoiding Cyberverse. He's been, he, he hasn't gotten any of the little kid lines, so. He's his her, his perspective is skewed on in that regard, um, but he likes the molds and he he likes the paint from what I've seen so far. I the paint for me eh, it's a mixed bag depends on how it actually ends up looking from the factory, not just the hand painted samples that we've yeah. seen. I'm not uh, and I'm I'm right there with you. I I don't want to sit here and bash it, uh, saying right, that it's right. the worst idea ever. I just don't like how it looked on the preliminary figures that we've seen on display so far. Uh, I'm reserving my final judgment until I actually see it in store, pick it up in my hand, and look at it through the window and uh, on, on the box or on the on the on the card, and say, okay, that looks good. That looks like garbage. You know what have you. Um, now, if like I said, if it's done right, it can make a figure look good, especially like a wash, you know, where it mm-hmm. brings it brings out the panel lines and stuff. And that, there's so much detail in those figures in the molds that, yeah, a good wash yes. would, would really make all that pop, and it'll be Definitely. really pretty. Yeah. yeah. 
but sloppily applied scuff marks is not gonna no do that for you. No, I, I, and it that in and of itself doesn't work for me. Um, and I and I'll be honest, the uh, the Megatron, the way they had the uh, the the brownish scuff paint applied to him looked like somebody bent over in front of him and sharded uh and it flew all over him (laughs) and it's honestly that's what it looked like to me either that or he had uh he had he got on his atv and went mudding you know and mudden megatron yeah yeah mudden megatron mighty mudden megatron that's what he's called sounds like a fast action battler or something mighty mudden megatron (laughs) Now somebody's going to get that Megatron and find a scale-sized ATV or bike, and they're going to they're going to make it. You know, it's going to be great. Mighty Mud Megatron. I think the the sideswipe paint we saw from I think we've seen stock images of it. Either that, or I've seen good pictures of it, and it didn't look too terrible. I think it was the Takara pictures we've seen of it. It didn't and, look bad. Yeah, I no, wonder, I, I I agree. I kind of wonder if it'll be like Beast Hunters where the battle damage paint won't be the same on each figure. It'll be kind of different. You guys remember how Beast Wars had that swirled, or I'm sorry, Beast Hunters had that swirled plastic that was different for every figure? Mm-hmm. So your your copy of Wheeljack was not the same as my copy of Wheeljack. I thought that was kind of neat. I like that. that. Is neat. Yeah, yeah. And, it, uh, and it if you've got a, if you've got an option at the store, you can pick it up and set there, oh, this one looks better than this one. But if you're kind of in a hurry, or if it's the only one that's uh, that's there of that particular character, because you exactly, or if you bought it on, yeah. Yep. And ninety-five percent of my purchases now are, are done online. You know, I I'll just pre-order from Orson, and you know, once in a while, you know, if I go to pick it up, you know, I'll get to open, uh, look in the case, and you know, okay, I like that one better, you know. Uh, but that's a very rare. Usually, it's like he'll put them in a bag and drop them off to me at work, you know. Um, so, but like last night, you know, I'm I'm sitting there at work and you know li- line of semis in the docks, and here I am getting out of my truck and being handed a toy, and every, all the other drivers sitting there looking at me just like <laughs> I'm <Cool>. like <laughs> it's like this is the look of give a crap on my face. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, the, uh, is it me or did some of the toys from the siege line look like they had no weathering effect at all? I don't recall seeing any on flywheels. I haven't I seen any on flywheels. No. And, and back to Christian's point about the, the Takara pictures, the, the stock photos that they posted earlier in the week and over mm-hmm. the course of the week, they didn't seem to have, that massive amount of weathering effect on those. They looked pretty clean. Uh, the, 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 the details in molded details, they really popped. It looked better than what we'd seen at, at New York and, uh, SDCC. So I don't know, maybe, and, and that also brings up the question is, is this line between the U S and Takara going to be the same as it was for, uh, power of the primes where the decos and the paint operations are identical between the two lines, or are we going to go back to the bit of a disparity where, the U.S. has, you know, extra operations or different operations, and Japan has whatever they've got going on. Because, yeah, that that dictates purchases for a lot of collectors, like whether oh, yeah. which like which which version they want. Yeah. How's that line unity working for you there, Hasbro? Uh, you know, I it, go ahead. I didn't see any, uh, whatever that paint. What, battle damage paint, weathering paint. I didn't see any of that on the smaller size classes. So, like the Micro Masters and Battle Masters, right. I haven't seen any of those operations on them. Which is good. I love Micro Masters, so I'm glad they're coming back. I'm glad they're not going to be dirty. Are you gonna, not going to be riding dirty? No. <laughs> um, the thing is, though, is if, if so, a certain li- a certain figures in the line have weathering and some don't, I don't like that either because I right. don't want, I don't want inconsistency in the line. Right. You know? The line has to be uniform, but that, that goes to the cynical Destron in me somewhere down the line for, I don't know, Hascon or whatever they want to do later on. What if they release a, a platinum I'm using my air quotes, platinum 
style set that doesn't have all the funky deco oh, that no, don't say that and you know what's going to happen no you know what's going to happen no. they're going to come out with an all clean version where clean shockwave clean sound wave clean megatron clean seekers you know and they're going to call it the no. nemesis pack or something like that and it's going to be a cute little why would you say that because you know it's coming man no <laughs> i didn't it's even consider that and we're gonna we're gonna buy all this stuff at retail, you know, Voyager, 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 and then they're gonna come out with a hundred and fifty dollar exclusive set on Hasbro Toy Shop or SDCC or Hascon or whatever, and we're gonna go and go, oh crap, well I guess I need that. And we're gonna buy it. I think I'm gonna clean the battle damage off my figures, get a bottle of rubbing alcohol and just clean them all off. That's that's a way to go. Just do it your damn self. <laughs> or either that, or they're going to have, like you said, the same amount of operations, you know, same amount of paint apps, but it's just going to be more tampos, you know, like tampo detail. Like, uh, like toy, 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 like toy etic or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Like replicating the old stickers or something, but, but on as a tampo on the, I, you know, I might be on board for that. If the, if if this line was had that, I would be all over that. Um, pretty tempos are pretty. Yeah, there there's certain toys that we've gotten here in recent past that you know uh, had a, had quite a few tempos on them, and I thought they they came out rather well. I'm trying to think of one as a good example right off the top of my head. Um, I know seems like Titans Return had a few. Titans Return had some good some good paint operations in general. Like their their um, was it Misfire or Trigger Trigger Happy had had some good ones. Uh, I've got the Takara Misfire back here uh, and the Takara uh, Trigger Happy, so I can't I can't speak to those off the top of my head. But like Grotesque was almost completely covered in paint. That thing was yeah, just saturated in beautiful 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 paint. And I would I would spend twenty five dollars for a deluxe if they looked like that. Yeah. Time. And it just sh it shows the quality it shows it, it really shows through. Um, I've, I've got boxes next to me. I'm looking to see if I've got any good examples. <laughs> Minimal tampos, but Perceptor looked pretty good. There's, yeah, there's a good example. And yeah. he had this. He had stickers on the side, mm -hmm. and then he had yeah the the silver paint on the the door and the lens and the his other knobs looks really good. Yeah, not not a ton of paint, but enough paint to make him look really good. I it like makes him. yeah, what they applied really pops the details, and it really like flushes out who he is and 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 reads to his, yeah. his cartoon and toy appearances. Yeah, so it's a great figure, great example. Yeah, um, either that or if they don't go for the the toy look, you know, the original toy look with more tampos, just tampo detail. You know, like here's a here's a circuit panel or something. You know, um, I, I dig that. But I, I'm my my reservations are still out about the weathering, um, you know. Like I said, I'm taking everything that we've seen so far with a grain of salt because uh, they're all hand painted examples. You can't really say, "Oh well, this line's going to be trash." I don't like the way they look. Um, hell, some some of the figures were totally hand painted. Where they uh, looked like they might have been gray protos that would paint uh, that were hand painted. Yep. Uh, so it may not even be the final colors of the actual toy. Um, and some people said that, you know, they uh, that saw these in person said that some of them were clearly glued. Um, so, oh, yeah, you could see the, the glue lines going across. Yeah. Um, Megatron was that way. I'm kind of... I'm kind of got my reservations about that too, because if you remember whenever Combiner Wars was, uh, was first revealed and we saw Minosaur for the first time, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they said Minosaur was like heavily glued oh, and yeah. he turned out to be the floppiest one of them all. And I'm well, like, Superion eh. was that way too. And then uh, Superion wasn't that floppy. Yeah. No, Superion was glued. Oh, and kind of weird looking, and then uh, when it actually came out, it was totally fine. It was like the best one of the line. It's it's crazy how Superion was like probably one of the most bland G1 combiners. Yet in Combiner Wars, he was probably the one of the best ones. One of. I, I, yeah. I, I think Computron probably takes the, the yeah, best one. Yeah, both Computrons are now my favorite with upgrades. Yeah. Incidentally, I thought of another good example of good tampo paint, and that was the Combiner Wars Blastoff that just came out with uh, mm. uh, the, yeah. the 
Amazon exclusive blast off that yeah. had some really good tampo work on it. Um, I'm really pleased with that. Um, as a good example. Yeah. He's in, he's in here somewhere. He's great. Uh, so further thoughts on weathering, uh, either you guys have any on that? No, no. I'm, 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 I'm eager to see how things start to unfold as we get to more. I mean, it's, it's going to be November, December soon, and they start popping then. So it, it's going to happen, and we're going to find out sooner rather than later. Well, didn't uh, Wave Two already pop up on Amazon? With on no Amazon, pictures, that's correct. Uh, for pre-order. So now I'm kind of curious as to whether those pre-orders will actually stick, and if Amazon will come back and cancel them or not. I've, all the ones I've had like that recently for, I think it ended up being the Studio Series Volkswagen B and Shadow Raider. Got, those two got canceled. My Studio Series Bone Crusher order got canceled. So, we'll see. Because, hmm. I mean, they're probably just placeholder things. I don't know. Uh, but if that's the case, then why did they pop up online? Why were they visible? How did they get why found? Why order... Oh, you can just search for them. The the Amazon code is T R A G E N Tra Gens Transformers Generation. Imagine that. <laughs> so I just looked for Tra Gen, and there they were. Hmm. But yeah, Along with Ratchet and Shadow Raider, they were there too. If if they follow suit with previous or most recent years, um, yeah, we, we probably will start seeing Wave One probably late November, early December. Yep. Uh, I'd say Amazon will probably be the likely place we'll see some of the first ones. Maybe B- BBTS will get their shipment in like early. Um, and I'd say throughout December, the, uh, the Christmas holiday, we'll probably have a good helping of Power of the Primes Wave 1. I'm sorry, uh, Siege uh, Wave 1. Uh, <laughs> along with some Power of the Prime Wave 1 that's still out yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then wave two, I guess, late January, early February, maybe. It'll be late late January, but we won't see them until March. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're, we'll be uh, there'll be people wondering, are are these toys actually coming out? Is there, what, what what happened? New Year, people. New Year. Yep. New Year. Hey, did you guys talk about the new cassettes last week? No, we did not. All right. Something really bugs me about the new cassettes. Oh, it's the way only they look? because I like... No, they look fine. <laughs> I like the way they look, actually. But they're taking up slots in the MicroMaster size class, and I would rather just have MicroMasters. I'd rather have the complete team. Oh, I thought you were yeah. talking about the... The uh, the Titan Returns, or not the... Uh, the or the Combiner Wars, like, PDA mold things. Oh, no. That, that's so, popping well, up at I, I Target. I get to that part, but no, I'm talking about the Siege ones. I hate those. But the Siege ones look fine to me, especially Laser Beak. Ravage is a little bit Laserbeak fat. looks great. Yeah, Ravage looks a bit fat. But... but Yeah, I would rather have had the other part of the Airstrike Patrol take yeah. up that slot. Yeah, yeah. complete teams. They, I mean, and they still might happen. These are still early days. We don't know. Or yeah, I was, I had Squawk Talk and Beast Box. Uh, or them, I guess. That'd be fine, too. But I'd rather have all the cassettes and also all the MicroMasters. Like, Bingo. They don't, they don't have to be exclusive. Hmm. Uh, I had a chat with Sergio about this last week. And do you guys remember when the new Robots in Disguise line came out with those big multi-packs of their Minicons? Yeah. yeah. I'm really hoping we get just this giant pack of MicroMasters for, to fill out the rest of the teams. That would be nice. MicroMaster 30-pack. 30 30-pack. 30 I want them all. And it'll be a convention. It'll be $50 more expensive. No, I'll it'll only it. come out in the UK. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll find it. I will find it. Yeah. Or like, wasn't it? It was Kmart that had the twenty-four packs of minicons back in oh eight oh nine, something like that. From yeah, yeah. twelve <laughs> packs. No, I think there was a twenty-four pack. I know there was a twelve pack too, but there was like a there was multiple packs, and they had like some of the same like repeating minicons in there. I don't know. Well, don't you have a don't you have a sealed copy of that? I do somewhere <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. go dig it out <laughs> um but yeah like those like that packaging was really cool i'd like to see mm-hmm. it again yeah and i think it's Micro likely Masters. that we we will get a lot more micromaster sets because essentially some of the micromasters a lot of the micromasters were simply just redecos of other 
molds too, weren't they? Not, not nope. really. They were, they were like, they, with the exception of like the the guys that the, came the with bases. bases. Yeah. yeah. Then they would be redecos. But for the individual teams, the MicroMaster Battle Patrol, the MicroMaster Air Patrol, there was all different molds. Now there were design cues, but there were different sure. cars, different jets, different you know vehicles of different types. So. I'm sure they've got pre-molds and gang molds in mind already. They, they already know what they're going to do. And since this is the first part of a trilogy and the combining gimmick for the last trilogy carried through all three parts. And, you know, I have a feeling that even if we don't get all of the MicroMasters for this first part of, you know, the trilogy, we, we will probably see more characters from the different teams kind of line up as this, as this trilogy Unfolds. forever, and I'm it's a, it. and it's also interesting to note too that because of the the weapon slash gimmick uh, sort of weapon gimmick that the, that these micromasters have, mm-hmm. they also have the ability to combine like micromaster mm-hmm. combiners, uh, which, so which is neat. And I'm yeah. welcome to having those guys get a revisit. Let's let's yep. see all the micromasters. Let's see the the zone recolors. Let's see the the base recolors. Let's. I mean, we already know Countdown's coming with Omega Supreme. And countdown is someone that's that kind of weird, though. I love it. I, I, love I, it. I like the idea. I'm, I'm, I'm it's, interested. I think it's fine. I'm interested at the at the prospect of it, but Omega Supreme is also kind of the rocket base now. I'm good with that. Bingo. Yep. I love it. Whatever, and, uh, and it will explain whatever happened to Omega Supreme after season two. He was in season three. He he showed up in uh, the big Couple. broadcast of 2006. Yeah. But what broadcast it whatever was. happened to him, right? whatever <laughs> happened to him later, though, you know, uh, he he was kind of rebuilt into Countdown. Maybe I don't know. I'm I'm down to see whatever they want to do. If they want to bring me a Galaxy Shuttle, put a Galaxy Shuttle in my house, a big giant Galaxy Shuttle that transforms, you know, this friggin' tall. Give me some victory characters that hang out with the MicroMasters, with the Rescue Patrol, with Holy and Peebo and Fire and Boat, and all those guys. Bring me. A, we've already got Diatlas and stuff coming. The Powered Masters who hung out with MicroMasters. I, I pre-ordered I, that harder than than all get out the big powered. Yep. Yeah. Bring right, it. So- bring MicroMasters and all their friends. So, Peter, I had a, a conspiracy theory yesterday that I shared with Duran, so I'm going to share it with you. Go ahead. All right, so we know that in Siege we're going to get a six-gun probably, right? Yes. So six-gun is a thing that will probably exist. Yes. And now MicroMasters are also a thing that exists, right? Right. And finally, remember when LG Grand Max came out earlier this year? Mm-hmm. He was like the crowdfunded titan, and yeah, that's how it worked. So all of those yeah. things are things that exist, right? Yes. LG crowdfunded metro titan with metro shot and metro dash i can see that happening it's i can happening. totally see that happen- yeah i'm calling can- it now you've called where it? the I'm hell would i put it like a secret <laughs> i'm putting it out there so it can be fulfilled make it a reality let's all <laughs> let's all get it i, I know that's, why, it that's why we had to wait this long until we got metro titan has it come out now because i know i know right rick time. would i know rick would be exceedingly happy because he pushed for metro titan at sdcc way back when um you know, and but there were no MicroMasters out way back when. So now, just like Christian's saying, it's, it is the right time. The makes MicroMasters sense, are yeah. here. Let's, yeah, it, let's just do it's it. Six gun. Don't forget about him. And, yes. there, and there's literally no retooling to do to it. It's just simply exactly. a straight-up redeco. Yep. Nope. Easy no. money. It's easy money. It's easy money. And, and it, people will buy know, it. Include him. Include the extra things as the crowdfunding bonuses, and people will fund them. But how many times have we seen, and, I, and I'm trying to be devil's advocate here, how many times have we seen Hasbro miss the obvious repaint, easy repaint, with no retooling done at all. But we're not talking Hasbro. We're talking LGEX. We're talking Takara, Tomi, Mall. Well, they've even done it. They've even they, done it before. But we're running but they out make of... they Max. Bingo. And we're running out of things that have tooling already done. Buster and Hydra. just need a redeco. So Metro Titan would perfectly line up there. It's either Metro Titan or Brave Max at this point, or Gigastorm. That's... I would love a Gigastorm, but we're not on Beast yet. We're not, we're not in... The... Full beast revival yet? We're we're yeah. winding down Gen One. Do you think that's actually coming? Like a beast revival? Yeah, it'll happen at some point. We'll have to get to it. All right, so can we go back to Omega and Rocket Base real quick? Sure. Yes. Okay, so if we're imagining other characters as also maybe also MicroMaster bases, could we get other bases that are also other characters? Go on. Yes. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just spitballing this. I've really just thought of it at this moment. But, like, I know we just got a Blitzwing, but what if Blitzwing was also, like, the cannon transport? Or, 
Octane was the tanker transport, so, you know, something like that. That could be cool. I could see that. You know, we had the leaders in Titans Return. They all had base modes. Now that MicroMasters are back, things with base modes make even more sense. Yeah, that that, that makes sense. And and even going back to the powered masters, the the base modes for like Overlord, they they made a base mode for Roadfire and Sonic Bomber. Who mm -hmm. the original deluxes didn't have base modes. You can make fan mode base modes, sure. but now it's canon that these are base modes for these iterations of the molds. So yeah, let's make everyone a base. That 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 throws the the perspective of the micromaster like you said like the micromasters to the to the guzzlers isn't that what they called them in the in the dream wave yep. mm -hmm. yeah so micromasters to guzzlers were big guys that you know have base modes and, and interact with the micromasters in fun new innovative ways that we can carry forward throughout the trilogy so instead of everyone's a combiner or everyone's a headmaster everyone's a base everyone's a base <laughs> everyone is, is all about that base all out. about the base <laughs> <laughs> oh Could be fun. hmm just thinking about the idea. Uh, I'm, I'm trying what, to think. What of... does Ground Shaker look like? You know, what, who, who would Ground Shaker's vehicle turn into? Breacher. Remember Breacher from the? Yeah, uh, could be. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm something, down with something it. like that. Yeah. Voyager Breacher. I would be. I would be super down with that. That would be fun. Um, who's um Skyhopper? Who's, who's Sky Stalkers? Sky Stalker was the was the uh, the Thunder the Arrow, the, the the larger jet. Yeah. Um, so, and Skyhopper was the helicopter, so we could, I mean, hmm. Astro Train and or ga Galaxy Shuttle. That's a repaint of Galaxy Shuttle. You know Shuttle. who I'm hoping now, uh, since we've got both dual cons, who I'm hoping now we'll see, and in, in at least this trilogy, maybe not Siege, but maybe Me. sub subsequent one. No, no. <laughs> Who's that? No, uh, the Trigger Cons, the Trigger Bots, and the Fire Cons. Sparkle. Well, we already got Cinder Sar. Yeah. Um, so Spark Stalker and, and Flame Feather, they, they, they can't be too far off in terms of being readdressed, you know? By Hasbro. Or just Somebody straight up do uh, more redecos of those. Yeah, I had him, yeah. but it's kind of a passe mold now, I guess. Yeah, the, the, the baby group. Molded. Oh. Why you hate? Don't be you hate. Don't hate on override. Leave alone. No, I would love to see new trigger bots and trigger cons. But uh, I'd like to see. It seemed like there was somebody that was released recently. I want to say it's in Power of the Primes uh, that would have made a good crankcase. Who was that? Um, the bottom bat of road trap. Yeah. Yeah, he would have made a good uh, crankcase, but he's essentially the he's same. Not here. Same color in robot mode. Yeah, Reaper Labels made a set to make him crankcase, and I did that. Yeah. Now I have a crankcase. <laughs> Just no no fancy guns. Doesn't have fancy guns. I would like to see you know, Omnibots, like I just said. Omnibots. Peter emphatically yeah. agreed. Yes. And then I really want Power Dashers. Mm. It's yeah, make something that's been again. ignored for, largely. Yeah. yeah. Omnibots and Power... Or make the Omnibots come with the Power Dashers. They're both male ways. They share a heritage. That sounds cool. I like that idea. Omnibot, deluxe Omnibots with MicroMaster Power Dashers. Would you sure. put the friction motors back in the Power Dashers? I mean, I wasn't thinking that, but why not? You know, thinking back to our, our original topic of, uh, of tampos and stuff, uh, instead of that stupid MAGA Jazz thing that was uh, at the at the uh, beginning of uh power of the primes instead of having that maga and on there on there and having some kind of stupid little other little little glyphs and everything maybe put a reference to cookie crisp on there that would be cool that, that would have been cool maybe <laughs> like crisp jazz yeah yeah i would have been totally totally on board with that that would have been nice hmm yeah those sorts of nods especially in the the paint and stuff that that's something that we're missing right now. Well, we, yeah, we you remember see. back in Dark the Moon, those Walmart exclusive Sideswipe and Bumblebee that had all those tampos on them of the, those obscure things? I really loved that. That was probably too much, but they were exclusives and they were fine. But, uh, you know, still was, little references like that. Wasn't uh, it uh, Classics Mirage had like um, GB yeah. Blackrock on him or so, on the on the spoiler? Yeah, had like yep. Blackrock Racing or something yeah. on there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I totally plug, nerded out whenever that. Whenever that with, uh, with Wiki came spark out. plugs, yeah. what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, Black yeah. Rock Racing. Totally nerded out whenever that that came out. 
Side note, how do we never get a ro- robots in disguise skids from that mold? And it seemed like there wasn't there somebody that would have been a good tow line to uh, that cup. Would Cup have made a good tow line? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Either that or... the Disguise Revival? We've got yeah. R.E.D. Magnus now, so... That's true. Happen. He's coming. You never know. You never know. Because they they had to do the R.I.D. Magnus homage uh, for some reason. There had to be a reason to do that. And I'm kind of wondering if there will be other characters that will have that that similar purpose. You know, I'm really fine if they want to amalgamate versions like that. You know, not like not like they tried to do with the Aligned universe where they just tried to glom yeah. everything together. Yeah. But, you know, stuff with Magnus. Oh, he's got already Magnus' alt mode. That's kind of cool. He's still G1 Magnus, but look, he looks like the other guy too. I, I think that's nice. He's not just a white prime clone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like one mode. Hear... One mode can be totally uh, slavish to one design, and the other mode slavish to the other. It's the best of both worlds. I did hear a wild theory about Magnus and Shockwave as an extension. Go on. Have you guys, have you guys heard that these are reused and updated designs for when either of those guys were supposed to win the Power of the Prime's leader vote? It would not surprise me in the slightest to find out that they had already preliminarily like made those designs you know and they've just yeah. had them in a queue at some point and they're like uh now's a they're, good time they're both smaller figures that add pieces to become bigger figures a prime which is the yeah whole thing of power of the primes yep so hmm. <laughs> where's <laughs> star saber <laughs> where is star saber where's where are my victory guys well wasn't there a death source rumor to be coming to yes yep and i'm i'm like Waiting. Well, I told you. I've said I'm before waiting. On the show that I think <laughs> I'm the waiting. third bit of the trilogy is War for Cybertron victory, because they have to win the best. Someone has to win of the war eventually, right? Mm-hmm. I would be. I would be okay. I think we're going to be really pleasantly surprised by the things that we see, the characters that we see them pulling out of the bin. Road Caesar. Over the course of the remainder. Of, yeah. Road over the course Caesar. of the remainder of the trilogy, we're we're going to see all sorts of fun stuff. Raiden. Oh. Raiden, Raiden is way overdue. Whether it, whether it's official or third party, Raiden I, is way overdue. Raiden, give it to me. How is it taking this long? Yeah. Jeez. And his American name will be Raider. I don't care. They'll, they'll his, call his, him his American name will probably be Racer. Racer. Yeah. And he'll replace a couple of members with the Team Bullet Train guys, which I will like and not like at the same time. Yeah, you know, one of them will be Midnight Express. And... Hey, that's more R.I.D. references for us, so... It, Which it, I love. Like you said, it then, scratches all the itches. Yep. I will like that and hate it at the same time. It'll be great. Well, that's so kind of how it is with being a Transformers fan. You like it and you hate it all at it's once. Like, it's all damn you, I love you. <laughs> 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 it's like the treads on on, uh, on the Zeta Toys Brawl. I both love them and hate them at the same time. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm conflicted. Yeah, they get rid of Shoki and instead have uh, Rail Spike, which is like, yay, I love Rail Spike, but also... Shoki. Anyway. And, and and Daniel? Can they have a Daniel in there too? No, Daniel can go away. <laughs> burn burn no in the fires of Inferno. No. 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 So last week, uh um uh, uh Christian, were you able to uh listen in or watch last week at all? I was not. What's up? Um we did a little thing. Uh, where, well, uh, sort of a little thing, um, where we talked about experiences. You know, we've all got them from our uh, our our hobby. Uh, you know, whether things that happened to us as a kid, uh, things that's happened to us as an adult, you know, whether, uh, you know, dusting the collection and a shelf falls down and crushes a bunch of toys or or uh you're digging through a, a, an old toy box and found a transformer that you forgot you had or you went to a convention and met a really cool person uh whether it be a celebrity or otherwise um just different stories from throughout our personal lives as um as collectors of the transformers line uh we shared some of our ep- our our favorite or, or some of the ones that we remembered, 
uh, from uh, our lives last week. Um, I was going to give Christian an opportunity to do that. I know I was on there and Peter was on there last week. Um, and I want to eventually get everybody on the cast uh, an opportunity to do this because, and I, I'd like to have maybe another full episode of these stories because going into TFCon USA, and this is something I mentioned last week, going into TFCon USA, one of the biggest things that I love about going to conventions is not just going to see the toys and an and opportunity to buy toys and, and, and going out to eat and, and everything, but it's sitting around with an opportunity to talk to people who are into the same thing you are and just listen to people's stories and, and hear things that they've experienced and seen and, uh, or like and dislike. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the best things about a convention and I'd like to bring that kind of feeling to TFYLP once in a while. Uh, maybe have an episode where we talk uh, or, or share anecdotes from our personal lives as fans and, and hobbyists in the Transformers line. Uh, so just off the fly, do you have anything off the top of your mind that stands out as something you'd like to share with us? No pressure. No pressure at all. None. Absolutely there's, no pressure. There's, there's a lot of stuff that's happened. I've been doing this for a really long time. Yeah. I guess not as long as you guys, but it's oh, yeah, still half feel my old. life. Calling us old. <laughs> I remember a time before there was Nintendo. Yeah, we talked about it <laughs> yesterday. Just yeah. a brief aside about how long I've been doing this. I was never nostalgic for a previous period in time where I was collecting, but now I'm nostalgic for the time I was collecting Cybertron, hmm. which was 13 years ago, which is half my life, so... That's kind of weird to go through now. Uh, I guess one of my favorite stories is how I met Sergio. I don't know who met him. I, I guess the group that I kind of run, ran around with joined up with a group that was Chicago-based, and that's where Sergio is. And we joined up online. I sold him a Shadow Glass Blur. And that was kind of it. But then we were making plans to go to BotCon 16, and I can't remember what happened. I was going to be a min his mini con because I wasn't interested in the combiner. I was later, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And registration went up, and he was just going to register for both of us. But he was in class because he, he was in school at the time. And so not knowing me that well, I mean, we talk almost every day now, but not knowing me that well at the time, he Facebook messaged me a picture of his credit card so I could sign us both up to go to BotCon. It was incredible. It's like, Whoa. boy, you trust me, don't you? <laughs> yeah. That was really neat. I mean, it's like, and here's my social security number if you want it too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was just, uh, it was cool to have that kind of trust. It was cool to have that, that, that friendship early on and to know that was going to be something interesting going forward. You know, for, for the most part, you know, whenever you meet somebody that you really click with, you can kind of tell whether there's somebody that you can be that can be trustworthy or not, uh, but time always tells, you know, and, and proves. Uh, you know, I've met several people, even in this fandom, that initially my initial thought on them was wrong. Uh, I'm a very trusting person generally until I'm given a reason to feel otherwise. Um, so you know, I'll. I'll I'll take people at face value, and sometimes that's to my detriment. Uh, I will take people at, at face value until you prove otherwise to me that you should not be trusted in that way. Um, you know, the, uh, but that being said, by and large, in the fandom, most people are pretty genuine. Uh, and you know, I've got I've said it time and again, I'll, and I'm I'm not ashamed to say it. Headmaster Dawn is probably one of the most genuine people i've ever met uh not just in the fandom but as as a person headmaster dawn is is a fantastic person he it's there's a reason that he has such a large and wide fan base in the fandom and it's not because of uh of his work on rfc or his work here on tfylp uh it's because he's approachable uh he's likable and He's just one of those kinds of people that that people immediately like the moment you meet them. I have never heard somebody say something 
about Headmaster Dawn that was that was uh, unbecoming. You know that or you know that 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 was a slight against him in any way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's a little bit weird. Like we aren't, aren't we all? <laughs> all of us are. You know, yeah, <laughs> we're all quirky. We're all weird. That's not. A, I don't see that as a detriment. I don't see that as a as a as as a disparagement in, in any way. Uh, you know, I have my quirks. I'm weird. And then then there's Christian. You know, uh, so. <laughs> I am what I am. I don't pretend to be something else. No, you're you're not punch counter punch, are you? I heard my counterpart is nearby. Real <laughs> nearby. Real nearby. It's like this is Christian Russell, and this is my counterpart, Russell Christian. Chip. No, Russell Christian. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, the return of Chip. Yeah, gonna... Chip is my alter ego. I heard he's nearby. <laughs> you totally need to play that up at the con. I think Chip is dead. No, I think I, I think I reabsorbed him. Ha, have a shirt that is reversible. <laughs> one of them it says Christian Russell on it, and the other one it says Chip. <laughs> which one's the good one? Which one's the evil one? Hmm. You decide. Hmm. You decide. So, you have any uh, any other anecdotes that you might want to share? I do. There's one more. It's from Bacon 06, and I used to go to these things with my dad. And if you met me prior to 2016, you probably met my dad too because we used to go together and we used to travel together. It was super fun. So 06, we were in Lexington, I Kentucky. I might have met you then. You probably did. Yeah. I was a little fella. Anyway, I bought a Beast Wars depth charge. And I've always liked depth charge because I like manta rays. I think they're cool. <laughs> and so we were driving around lexington in our in our truck that we had decoed for the show which is a different story that i'll share another time but i was just like having the manta ray around and just to be ridiculous because i was a kid i was just holding it up to the window or holding up to my dad saying see my manta ray see my manta and so we we stopped at a stoplight and i held it up outside to to the car next to see my manta ray they actually saw it (laughs) and they they just looked at me weird and we drove off because (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, the moment they looked at you you should have went yay they saw my manta ray <laughs> <laughs> look dad they saw great. my manta ray it was great see you and so to to commemorate that time the instruction booklet that i got with that depth charge still lives in the glove box of my truck wow yep that's a good memory so it, it's still there see you <laughs> Uh, what about you, Peter? You got a you got another anecdote you might want to share? Um, off the top of my head, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I've plenty. I don't know. Like uh, prior to 2013, I was I you know I'd been going I've been going to shows since '97, um, but I didn't speak to anyone. I was really withdrawn and didn't. So I, I have all these like I just go to table to table, but not talking to anybody sort of thing. I would buy stuff, but I wasn't very sociable. So, um, what made you come out of your shell? Uh, I got back from Afghanistan for the second time and decided I was tired of being in a shell because I'm not wasting any more time with you're not a pretender. I'm not a pretender. I'm I'm just going to be me. And, uh, I went to BotCon 2013, right? Like two weeks after I got back and immediately met, uh, Matthew Reinhardt and Will Kinney and Will introduced me to his group. And it just, Will is, Will is like everywhere. It shocks yeah. me how many friends in different places that uh, that Will has friends. It's like if you don't know Will Kenny, who are you? <laughs> At this point, yeah. it's almost and if you haven't shared a bed with Will, are you really his friend? <laughs> I'm not going to touch that one. Uh... <laughs> He's a good sleeping buddy. I don't know what you guys talk about. Mm. We haven't figured out the bed arrangements for our room yet, so we'll, we'll see. Technically, how it goes. I guess I have because he has stayed at my apartment before. So well, there yeah. you go. See, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it's 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 just weird how how some people you're like, oh, you know this person, and one person asked me some time ago, Deron, how do you get guests, and how do you uh, where do you find these people to come on the show, and. I, I guess it's partly because I'm kind of in 
that same ilk with with Headmaster Dawn and 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 Will and You're and a yourself. Star. No, it's not that I'm. Uh, I talk. I schmooze. Uh, you know, I like to. I like to. I like to meet people, and you know, if 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 we hit it off, we hit it off. If we not, if we don't, we don't. You know, but I like to meet people, and it's amazing how many people you meet through acquaintances and and other people that you know. You know, it's like. Will's introduced me to people. You've introduced me to people. I'm sure Peter's going to be introducing. Well, you've already introduced me to uh, to to uh, Matt Reinhardt. You know, so you know, and, and I'm uh, a good guy. You know, yeah. I look forward, and it's probably people that I've seen before at conventions. I mean, I've been around a while. I've been to many, many conventions, and it's probably people that I've walked by I just didn't know them, uh, and now I have an opportunity to know them. And it's really awesome because there's a lot of really awesome people in our fandom. Mm -hmm. And again, that's another reason to go to conventions. Uh, If you're an introvert, going to a convention and not talking to anybody is probably one of the worst things you could possibly do. Uh, I I, I understand why, but... I did it too, Peter. It's not just you. You know, I... I understand why, and 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 I'm right there. I was I was like Peter, you know. The first two or three conventions that I went to, and I'm not sitting there making fun of people that don't don't go and talk to people and 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 schmooze. I, that's what I call you know just going around and talking to people. And, and I don't mean walk up to a random person and go, "Hey, you want to talk?" You know. <laughs> I've seen people do that though. Yeah, it, it does happen. Yeah. yeah, especially in elevators, which you know. That you're in a close quarters. Especially in Canada. You know. Yeah. Will but, Will would know the guy I'm talking about in Canada that does that. <laughs> uh, but you know, the first two or three conventions that I went to, I had no interest in talking to other people. Uh, you know, if I saw somebody I knew, I talked to them. But at that time, in the fandom, I really didn't know a lot of people. It was through talking to people on message boards and finding out, okay, you're going to be there. Uh, do you remember the time whenever you went to con- conventions and people would tell you their real name and you're like, uh, like, and then they'd tell you their their screen name and they're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, know I know you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, uh, it happens a little bit still, but now through so little. Uh, through social media and Facebook, we're starting to learn people's real names now. Yeah, uh, as build opposed a relationship to, that way, as yeah. opposed to the alias. Yeah. And I'm starting to find I more people. Yeah, I'm starting to find more people know me now as Drawn uh, uh, rather than Weird Wolf. Whereas ten years ago, hey, you're Weird Wolf. I don't know your real name, but you're Weird Wolf. You know, it's 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 that weird. It's crazy how things change. Well, since we're talking about meeting people at cons, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to meet my wife at one of these shows. Just I've got to have somebody that gets why I do what I do with Transformers. So the best place to look for those people is also at a Transformers show. Yeah, but does she have to be a Transformers fan? She could be a nerd Doesn't of some have other to kind. Be, but I kind of just think maybe she might be. Yeah, there are girls at cons, so it's true. <laughs> we had an entire episode on that. <laughs> good episodes yes yes go back and check it out it's been what maybe five about six episodes yeah so yeah for about four or five episodes ago really interesting episode yeah. girls that was episode family. uh 300 was it 300 it what was 300 it was a special yes yep. yes now see they all blur together to me you know i've i've been for through pretty much all 300 episodes so uh, may there? I think there might be a handful throughout the years that I've not appeared on, uh, whether through sickness or being away and somebody else hosted. Uh, but you know, through all the years, and it, and it's hard whenever you're sitting down coming up with topics and you're like, nope, we've talked about that. Nope, we've talked about that. Nope, we've talked about that. You know, especially through three hundred and now three hundred and four episodes, uh, it's hard to come up with topics, but that's why we revisit some topics because mm-hmm. uh, new people, new casts, um, new uh, new fresh takes on things. It's interesting to find out what other people think about it, even if you talked about it before. Uh, and it's you know like the brave, the topic of uh, Yusha Brave. Uh, I want to revisit that again sometime soon because we do it 
so often. We've done it twice now. We've re- revisited it. We, we did it once, and then we revisited it. I'd like to revisit it again because we've got a whole new group of people that can uh, that either know something about it or know absolutely nothing about it and may be interested to find out about it. If someone um, wants to sell me an Adventure, I would say yes, please. I had a KO Adventure at one time. I and, need him. Yeah. I like trains. The only, there was one that I never got that I really wanted, and I wanted the great Goldron. Because, like, he's all gold chrome. And just to have an all gold chrome, you know. But I, One of I never, my grails for a while was Captain Shark. I didn't have a Captain Shark. I, he's I, a pirate I, captain. I have played with one. I have played with one. And St. <laughs> Galvatron has a Captain Shark. That's why I want Adventure, because his best friend, Captain Shark's best friend, is a steam locomotive that turns into a giant cannon. What more could you want? Yes. What about Great Mike Gain, a perfect mode? That I don't thing. know what that is. Just you like trains. You look like up, trains. Look it up. You, you, yeah. you, you, will, you will gush about Great Mike. Great Mike Gain, perfect mode. All combined. Great Mike Gain, kind of okay mode. Uh, yeah, great Mike Gain perfect mode is roughly the size of this guy combined. Great Mike Gain okay mode? Somewhat okay mode. Great Mike Gain good mode? <laughs> great at Mike Gain tolerable mode. There Adequate we go. mode, yeah. Adequate tolerable. mode. Adequate mode, yes. Adequate mode now. <laughs> but yes. Google search Good Mike Gain. Adequate. Great Mike Gain. It's G A I N E, not G A I N. Great Mike Gain. Uh, he was actually the central character in that particular uh, series of Brave. Did he gain a lot of might? I believe he did. Did he become perfect? I believe he did. Another, was he uh, great beforehand, or was he just Mike Gain before? He was just Gain. Oh, because I, I, I think it was basically the guy, a rich kid that like built him, and yeah, and I like the that fact is. that uh, that his and it and it's it's weird how how brave in some ways ties into Transformers and takes cues from Transformers because it is a Takara line, uh, and they were very a lot of them were Transformer uh, inspired, and some Transformers were actually inspired through Brave. Um, right. but Red Geist. Red Geist was actually was Death Source, yeah. But yeah. Uh, some of them actually were Transformer reuses. Um, yep. b- but um, like Here You was uh, Sonic Bomber, and Gore You was Dialus, and, and uh, Death Gary Gun. Yeah, yep. Death Gary Gun was Sky Gary. Yeah. Uh, but and I wish I had the the courage to just use my regular name as my Transformer name. Dude's name is Gary. Sky Gary. Sky Gary. It's G A R R Y, not G A R Y. Well, his parents named him oddly. I don't know. My my uh, Twitter handle is Destron Peter. That kind of is the same, right? See, there you go. Yeah, Destron Peter. You could be you could be Sky Peter. That sounds. And when when you turn evil in the next line, you'll be Death Peter. Death Sky Peter. Death Peter. Death Sky Peter. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds dirty. (laughs) I was in the Air Force. It works. Death Sky Peter. Um, sure. But yeah, uh, one of my, one of my grails, I had it once and I'd love to have it again. If uh, there's very few braves that I had that I would love to go back and get uh, great might gain perfect mode is one. Uh, he was just so visually impressive. And then the other one was, uh, King Jader. I don't know if you're f- uh, familiar with King Jader. Uh, you'll have to do a Google search for him. He is like, he's, he's huge and he's a brick, but he turns into a, uh, spaceship that is sim. It's not, it doesn't look like a star destroyer, but it's kind of like one, you know, cause the, the, the way the head, the head is actually kind of like the, the, uh, I'm, I've not been in the Navy. So what's, what's the, ma- the mass for the, for the. Where the, the bridges? bridges and everything, um, yeah, that like sticks up, you know, kind of like a star destroyer, and he's lo- he's long, um, yeah, he's he's super awesome, King Jader, he is super awesome. I had is he him. A pirate captain? No, 
And uh, he was from Gal Gygar, and in the uh, in the cartoon, he was like a super badass. You know, he really could kick ass. Uh, yes, that is him, King Jada. Jada. Hmm. Jada. I gotta look up the toy. Give me a sec. Yes. I, uh, there should be a f- some photos I've done of him up there somewhere. I'm looking at great my game perfect mode. He looks very busy. But he's, he's nice. a lot of fun. He is. Very much so. Also, he's not a pirate captain or a shark. But what, uh, what I was trying to get at, uh, and I, and I want to finish my thought here, uh, how Transformers and, and Brave kind of intermingle in some places. Um, great Mike Gain, or just Mike Gain uh, in general, uh, the small robot form of Mike Gain. Uh, the robot head looks very much like Optimus Prime with a conductor's hat on to me. He has a hat. He has a hat. He has a conductor's well, hat. It's, or, it's molded detail. It's molded yeah. detail, but it looks like he has a conductor's Fine hat. Fine pirate. Captain Shark's pirate hat is a molded detail. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's Yar. how you know he's a pirate captain, because he's got a pirate hat and an iPad. <laughs> and a patch, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yar! And, uh, uh, I was starting Are there to say, a lot of hats in Brave? Are there a lot of hats? Do they wear hats? Uh, Leaves caps, fire caps. Yeah, yeah the, stuff these like things that. show up. Weird. If I'm not mistaken, doesn't, Why does a robot need a hat? doesn't one of the small robots from uh, uh, Police J. Decker have has a, a, has a police cap police or cap, something? Yeah. Yeah, but they also had molded caps on some of the the MicroMaster Six teams. Mm-hmm. They had little mm, that's true. hat looking things, yeah. And that, those were all designed at the same time that the Brave stuff was starting to take off. Yeah, Bra- uh, uh, the first Brave line was, uh, was uh, X Kaiser, right? yeah, and X Kaiser, and it's like around the time of Zone, I want to say. Yeah, that's ninety. Yeah, yep. so I was not yet alive. Yes. But uh, Brave went all the way through, I'm wanting to say, 98 uh, with Gal Gygar. There was going to be a ninth ser- uh, series called uh, uh, Bon Gon, B-A-A-N-G-A-A-N. Uh, great Bon Gon. And uh, he had like a lion motif, blue, and go- uh, blue, yellow, and gold lion motif. Uh, and he looked really awesome. But that was canceled because uh, Sunrise Animation and Takara had a falling out, from what I recall. And uh, Sunrise went with Gundam, or started Gundam, I guess. Went, or, back to, uh, or went to ba- Bandai. More. Bandai, yeah, they signed on more with Bandai. I think is what it was. Yeah. It was a conflict of interest. Yeah, it was. It was Brave. You should Brave is one of those weird things that uh, it was it had the toys from Takara, but the animation was from Sunrise. Same people mm-hmm. that do Gundam, so. So if you watch uh, a uh, Brave series and you're like, this feels like Gundam, that's the reason why. There's a reason why. Definite reason for it, yeah. It's really pretty. Yes. Yeah. The animation is just amazing. I I I love Gal Gygar. Probably one of my favorites. All right. I think we've rambled on enough and hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, Like I said, it was kind of quick and kind of meandering, but we was able to stretch it out have some interesting things here uh if you uh have any comments or questions about what we've talked about tonight on the show please feel free to send them to us uh on twitter at tfylp or post them on our facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash tfylp uh you guys have any closing uh thoughts or comments before we go bye bye no all right, we'll see you next time on TFYLP. Again, like I said, uh, next week uh, is uh, going to be a very busy week for me. Um, I'm probably going to be working uh, uh, just to get in some extra hours before uh, TFCon. And then the following week is TFCon. So, yep. uh, you know, Ooh. watch uh, for stuff from us. Uh, I'd like to like to use the TFTalk.net uh, Facebook page. Uh, as a uh, means to post news and maybe some uh, some live videos uh, from TFCon. Uh, I know uh, I'm a page admin, Peter's a page admin, and uh, Lucas is. Uh, and who knows, might even get Chip on there. 
but not Christian. Invited. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, look for some great stuff on there. Uh, Want to be able to share some stuff that's unique to tftalk.net and tfylp, not just reshared from from other uh, sources. Uh, although we do that too. Uh, you know, we if it's news, it's news. So we'll share it. But uh, we'll see you next time on TFYLP. Uh, good night, everybody.